In fact, tomorrow is going to mark one year since the prescribed burn on Hermit's Peak ignited, but then quickly went out of control, causing one of the worst natural disasters our state has ever seen. Thousands of New Mexicans are still displaced and waiting on help. FEMA is just weeks away, they tell us, from opening offices here in our state to start helping people face to face. That's going to be from Mora to Santa Fe. Nearly $4 billion is going to go to the people that need it most. And that process to get that money into the hands of the people that need it is really just starting. Some who have lost their homes are asking questions like, why is this taking so long? And will this program truly help the people that live off the land? Well, we took those questions straight to the top. It's been tough. Toby Dolan lost not only his home, but his mom and grandma's home that used to sit overlooking Hermit's Peak. Now he has questions about the promised federal assistance. It almost has felt like to us that they're inventing the wheel in this deal. And I know that's not the case because it was done in Cerro Grande, um, something similar. But it does feel like they've started from scratch uh, almost instead of having a procedure in place. It's important to recognize that the program that did exist was tw over 20 years ago. We took his question to the FEMA director in charge of the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon relief effort, Angela Gladwell. Although we are using the framework, so the, the framework of the, the rule that we put in place is very much the same as it was in Cerro Grande. How we're actually implementing the program is fundamentally different. Gladwell is not from New Mexico, but she's learned a lot, especially about the people that live here. Is that the population who has been impacted by this fire, although they're, they were in New Mexico, is fundamentally different. Overall, who they are and how these, loss, these losses have affected them is very, very different. Public comment is still getting considered, but Gladwell points to people like Tyler White, who said, I'm going to add my voice to the chorus here. You cannot use the Cerro Grande fire as a template for our community. Los Alamos had a 25% cap on landscaping recoverable damages. We don't landscape, we farm, we ranch, we live with our land. I absolutely understand the concern. Gladwell says special considerations for the special needs of these communities are happening. We still need to recruit and hire and train people. We still need to identify facilities and build them out. All of those things still have to happen as a brand new program, and those are the things that, that take time. But for Dolan and his displaced grandma, relief and answers cannot come soon enough. The thing to think about is in the context of disaster recovery and in the context of building new federal programs, this is actually moving very quickly. We hope you'll join us tomorrow at 630 as we mark one year since this disaster started. We're going to be hearing from victims who are still struggling to put their lives back together and hear more from FEMA as their process gets finalized to fund the future for thousands of New Mexicans.